Good evening, my name is Glenda and I'm reporting to you from Ghana Talks Radio. This is the Daily News Summary for Monday the 17th of January 2022. Police officers will not be intimidated by attacks. ACP Kwesi Ofori. The Ghana Police Service reiterated their belief that they would continue to fulfil their mission of maintaining law and order in Ghana despite the many attacks against their personnel. These comments are in response to the stabbing death of an officer while on duty at Yami Beche Police Station in the Berukum region of the Bono region. The Ghana Police Service stated that it's resolved to protect human lives and property as well as maintaining peace and order in society is unaffected by recent attacks on its officers. Yemeni Hothis, responsible for fuel truck blasts that killed three in Abu Dhabi. Yemeni Houthis have claimed a drone attack on the United Arab Emirates that killed three people and injured six marking a potential escalation of the seven-year conflict just weeks after the rebel movement seized an Emirati flagship in the Red Sea. The Iranian allied Houthi fighters, also known as Ansarullah, claimed a substantive attack on the UAE, which reported the deaths of two Indian and a Pakistani in fires and explosions on Monday involving three petroleum tankers and an airport construction site in Abu Dhabi. Actress Afia Schwarzenegger loses her dad. Ghanaian female comedian and actress Afia Schwarzenegger, also known in real life as Valentina Nana Ajewa, has announced the death of her father on Monday the 17th of January 2022 on her Instagram page. Augustin Ajay, the father of the controversial actress, has been battling with an undisclosed illness since last year. Afia, at a point, asked her followers to pray for her dad because she felt she was losing him. Ghanaian fintech float has raised $17 million seed money to help generate cash flow for Africa's commerce. Cash flow is a major pain point for small businesses in Africa. Long payment checks, which can take 30 to 90 days after services or products have been rendered, and little or no capital of which research says 85% of African small and medium businesses are subject to are the main culprits of cash flow issues. Many startups are solving these problems for African SMBs in one form or another and the demand for their services has seen Ghanaian startup float pick up a significant round of funding. The fintech which provides credit lines for businesses has raised $17 million, funding that it will be using to bolster its offerings and expand geographically. Australian Open 2022 Day 1, Rafa Nadal, Ashley Barty and Naomi Osaka cruise. After a build-up dominated by Novak Djokovic's visa, the Australian Open was finally able to emerge from its political shadow on Monday and stage a drama strictly of a sporting variety. The men's singles draw might have been blown open with possibility by Djokovic's absence, but the new order of favourites established a similar pattern. Rafa Nadal has only won one Australian Open in his decorated career, but a first round meeting with America's Marcos Duran never promised to amount to more than a glorified warm up. Nadal is short of match practice, having missed both Wimbledon and the US Open last year due to a foot injury, but dispatched his opponent conclusively by 6 1, 6 4, and 6 2. 
For a long time, Naomi Osaka's defense of her title had been as doubtful as Djokovic's, with the 24-year-old only returning to the court last week after an extended break, but there were few signs of rust as she swept past Colombia's Camila Osario in straight sets. Nor was there ever the faintest hint of an upset derailing world number one Ashley Barty's hopes of following up Wimbledon's glory with a first Grand Slam on home soil. The Australian utterly dominated her struggling opponent Lesia Sosrenko, with Barty rarely getting out of first gear as she raced to 6-0, 6-1 win in less than an hour. Thank you so much for listening. But before going, please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all of our social media channels and platforms. I do wish you all a very good evening.